All right, ladies, this is the video for numbering our measures and highlighting for Starry Night of Winter. I have to do a short video just because I can't upload large videos to Schoology. So here we go. You're going to be looking at this little curvy bracket. That's the piano part. And at the beginning, we're going to just label it one, two, three, and four. Looking at those vertical lines to help separate the measures. Then we come here. We've got our bold bracket to tell us those are our vocal lines. And we've got part one, which is going to be soprano, and part two, which is going to be alto. So you can label it like that if you want to. And that is measure five. And then you have these like little helper measures, measure guides. So that's six, it's already labeled. Seven, I go to my next bold bracket. Eight, nine, and ten. I want you to go through the whole thing, numbering the measures for each page. Make sure you circle the page number at the top. And you're always looking for that bold bracket when labeling. When you're done labeling your measures, you're going to go back with a highlighter and highlight your vocal part. Now, if you're a soprano, you're going to be that top vocal line, and I'm going to use yellow to represent you. You can use yellow, orange, or pink, as long as it's a light color. Use something like green or blue. It tends to um, make the words kind of disappear. And the altos are on the bottom. Okay, so this is just a starter guide to kind of help you get started on it. So you circle your page numbers, number your measures, highlight your vocal part, and only your vocal part. Sopranos are not going to highlight an alto part, and vice versa. Okay, there we go for Starry Night of Winter.